Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamara, T to the Y to the M to the A or A. I already played, prayed, cleansed the energy and pulled a few cards. Camera messed up, so we just want to continue on. So the first card that was pulled was Potential. And this is saying, plant the seeds of your desires, nurture and nourish them, taste the sweet fruit of your labor. So you have a lot of potential here. It's something you have been working on. You have been planting seeds. You could have been planting seeds of just goodness and kindness and getting that back. Whatever you give out is what you get back. You have been planting seeds of your desires. It's something you're desiring that you want that's going to help you grow. And you're nurturing that. So if some of y'all been thinking about starting a YouTube channel, you've been nurturing, putting your information out there, putting the videos out there, nurturing it. You want to grow your social media following. You want to grow your business or just grow in the potential of just employment, like getting promoted. You have been nurturing something, putting in that energy, putting your all into it. And now Spirit is saying it's time to taste the sweet fruit of your labor because it's going to pay off. It is paying off. You're starting to see it. You can feel it. You know it's right there. Just taste it. One, 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 as I just said that. So potential is here. Then we also have nourish. Nourish is saying good health comes from good food. Eat mindfully as a sacred act. So be mindful of what you're putting in your mouth. This food is not the same, but I ain't going to get into that. So just be mindful of what you're putting into your body. Make sure you're putting in things that's going to nourish it and just help you grow as a person because maybe you're feeling tired you're feeling bogged down stuff is just manifesting into things that don't need to manifest into so make sure you are nourishing your body get the fruits and veggies and all the healthy things in get you some spirulina get you some like you know all that little good stuff get some of that it says when you recognize me you recognize the spirit in all foods nurturing sustaining and giving energy so make sure you are taking in Foods with good energy. There's nothing wrong with indulging because uh, we're not made to just eat cardboard for the rest of our life. We do want to have a good time sometimes, okay? But <laughs> sometimes you may need to chuck back a little smoothie instead of a glass of wine or a beer. Sometimes, just change it out. Like if you had 10 glasses of wine, maybe sometimes have five glasses of wine and five, um, you know, glasses or cups of mugs of smoothie or something healthy, a green drink or something. Drink your little spring water, al alkaline water, whatever. Just, you know, just add some balance in there. So make sure you are being mindful of your health. And also, we have this energy of destruction. And this is, a, this is saying, allow your anger to liberate you. Put an end to which no longer serves you. So this is going to be the theme of our reading today. The potential was growing. You nourishing your body, your mind, your health. Just nourishing yourself with all the goods of the goods of the goods. And watching things grow. It's a lot that you had planted and then you're going to see an abundant harvest coming in. You could be communing with people, getting out there into the environment, talking to people, communing with people. You are stepping outside of your shell and hanging out in the community now. And you are being mindful of what you're ingesting in your mind, body, and soul. Even if that comes to watching certain things on the internet and scrolling down your social media feed, be careful with your ingestion. Nourish your body with the proper, <laughs> properly, just with the proper things, okay? Nourish your body properly. All right, Spirit, please give me a message for the Sagittarius Collective. What would you like them to know today? Eight of swords in the reverse, followed by the four of swords in the upright. Okay, there's this energy where you were in your head a lot in the past. You were in your head a lot. You used to have these self-limiting beliefs about yourself. I'm not good enough. I don't believe I'm good. Like, your confidence was very low. You did not believe, even though... You are capable of doing something. At one point in time, you did not see yourself as being capable of doing these type of things. And you learn to meditate. You learn to renew your mind. You are in this energy where you just have a new perspective on life, a new lease on life. You see things differently. It's like something came in, <laughs> spirit came in and changed your whole outlook or whoever I'm talking to today. Something came in and changed your whole outlook with these swords being here. You used to always just doubt yourself, but your confidence is being built up. You see your potential. 
you know that you are planting the right type of seeds. But maybe before, what I'm getting is you used to put things out there into the atmosphere, certain words that you will say, and not realizing that what you say is what you will be. So you are manifesting. You looked around and realized everything that I have right now came from my own manifestations. And I know I'm worthy. If X, Y, Z had this going on, I know I'm worthy to have the same thing. So you started changing your mind. You started changing, having limited beliefs. And you change your thought process. Now you're in this energy of renewal of your mind, a whole new mindset. Your thoughts have changed. Your mindset is new. Maybe you're listening to that meditation. What's that uh, Tony and all, all the, Tony Robinson and all the other people, you know. Maybe you're listening to some, uh, why do I keep seeing Bishop T.D. Jakes listening to him? You're just listening to Ayana. You're listening to all the motivational people. What else, Spirit? Yeah, there was this energy here where you realized you was in misalignment. Things just was not, things were not aligning for you the way that you were like. You were doing things, but it was not aligning for you. This was due to you having self-doubt and having that inner critic inside your head. You felt like you was not worthy and not good enough. But you learned to trust your intuition with the high priestess being here. You tapped into that sacred knowledge. Uh, I, uh, right now, I'm seeing somebody that's on their knees praying, somebody sending prayers up, somebody driving in their car to worry, like, Spirit, please get me there safely. You are sending these prayers out and Spirit hears you. So now you learn to, not only am I going to pray for my safety, but now I'm going to pray for things that I want. So I see you manifesting something. And you trust in your intuition. You trust in your ancestors. Some of y'all may have an ancestor altar here. There was a lot of doubt here with the judgment being handled reverse, but you learned to trust your own intuition, use the right type of judgment. And you learned to forgive yourself. Yes, three of swords in reverse. You released all this pain. All this pain got released. You are now in this energy where you're nourishing your mind. Everything is about the mindset. Your mind changed dr dr drastically. Your mind changed drastically. We had three swords out here talking about the mindset. It was some also you used to hang around with somebody that was putting negative stuff in, in your head. You could have been a child and you were being fed negative stuff. It was certain things you was watching on TV, but now you don't resonate with this information anymore. Certain songs you were listening to, you do not resonate with anymore. Even certain people. Some of my sages, you could be heavy into the church or you're heavy, heavy into religion. You are watching what you're putting inside your mind and nourishing yourself. You're even watching what you eat. You're balancing your energy out. I'm getting this energy. You could have overindulged in alcohol in the past or had some type of. It was something here you were addicted to. Alcohol, some type of substance or something. Anything could be addiction. It could be sweet. Something you was addicted to that was not serving you. And you had to let that go. You had to go in this energy of recovery. Somebody could have bat battled with suicide ideation or thoughts or something, suicidal thoughts. Like you went very low in your mind. You were very negative in the mind. You went very low, but because you went so low, spirit came in and saved you and you trusted your intuition. And this is what got you out of this energy. There was this imbalance because of this overindulging in alcoholism or smoking or something. And I, I'm not here to judge nobody on what they do. We all got a story. But whatever it is, this is what saved your life. This is how you came out of that. Because you had nobody to turn to but God. All of these people went away who stabbed you in the back. You or even you was just not telling people what you was going through behind closed doors. You was there late at night in your in your head, in your mind, contemplating. Some people just felt like some of my sadies felt like they just could not do this anymore. It was like too much for you, too much for you to bear. You felt like it couldn't be any worse than this. You had to carry the burden of so much. So much was on your on your back. King of Cups. Because of all this pain you had to go through, it taught you to be emotionally balanced because of you releasing something. Spirit came in over you and helped you to release something. 
you have a uh, I'm also getting whoever's on this video you're a very empathetic person you're very talent um, and you have a tolerance about yourself because you have been so low you were so low before now you have this balance about yourself so when somebody come to you talking about their problems you understand Somebody can say, I'm going through this and I'm having these thoughts. You understand. You are the one that knows how to help other people because of what you went through. You are learning to nourish other people because you know what it's like to not have anybody or to not have anything. Or because you had dealt with these bad thoughts. Or once again, I'm seeing like something that was just, you wanted to get up out of here. But you allowed your anger to liberate you. You put it into what was no longer serving you. And you realize, like, I can still keep going. Wow. King of Cups with the emotionally balanced. And this is leading you to your wealth and your finances. Ten of Pentacles here. Emotionally balanced and ten of pentacles. You got both of these. Your money, your houses, your finances, your desires, everything's going to be balanced out. Your emotions, your finances, your health, your wealth, everything. Balance is coming in for you. Financial security. You have the family around you that you want and love. You're going to have long-term success. You have wealth. Because of what you've been through, like you had a strong battle. But you knew there was some type of potential in you. Spirit was planting seeds in you. You went through this because spirit was planting seeds in you. What's that saying? Like spirit does not give his heart as battles. Spirit, spirit, God gives his heart as battles to his soldiers because they know to a certain extent you can handle it. Like some of these stories can be bad. But people are used for a reason to help grow the nation. And I know that sounds extreme, but hear me out. Somebody who went through something so traumatic when they were a child, let's say child abuse or something. Uh, what I'm getting to say this here, you used that, whatever you went through, you used it to help other people so they could see the signs and not go through what you went through. And it was so bad, whatever this is. Uh, you had these. You went through something when you was a child, which made you grow up and have these self-limiting beliefs and doubting yourself. So then you went into this. You had to have a renewal of the mind because you realized it cannot get no worse than this or whatever I'm going through. And you chose to heal yourself. You chose to feed your mind with the right type of stuff. Like they say, sometimes they say hurt people hurt people. You did not do that. You chose to use this information to elevate and to help other people because you know what it's like to go through that pain. And you don't want other people to experience what you went through that was so bad. Rather, it was suicidal thoughts is what I keep saying. Or the fact that you went through something as a child where you were dealing with neglect, abuse, whatever it was. You dealt with this pain and then you're making sure like if I dealt with pain as a child, I'm going to be a better parent. If I was neglected, I'm going to make sure I'm giving everybody attention. Like you did all this with whoever, whoever I'm pulling, whoever energy I'm pulling on in this reading. So you're being mindful of your thoughts, mindful of what you're like. You like to have a good time now. Don't get me wrong. I'm not getting no pro nobody that's stuck in the mud. Like you like to have a good time, but you all, all you're careful as who you're letting around you, who you're letting in your circle because of the pain that you went through. You had learned to trust your intuition because you had nobody to turn to at certain points in your life because you've been stabbed in your back so many times. You wanted to learn to trust your intuition like God got me out of this. God was there with me. Your higher power, whoever you trust, got you out of this. So you learned to trust them. And therefore, because you learned to lean on them and trust them and then wind up going back and helping other people, you are emotionally balanced. You know how to help people. And you're going to have all this all this success. And the right type of people is going to gravitate towards you. The right people. Let's see. Let's get a little bit more clarity on this. What else, spirit? That's why they say allow the anger to liberate you. Allow it to liberate you. You want to be whining and dining, dating. What else? You are a very laid back individual. You just want to have a good old time. Whining and dining. You like the luxuries of life. Like you could be a simple person, but you like to have a good time as well. Is what I'm seeing. 
what else? The card unfell. You're a very mature person. Uh, you want to be a part of a high society. A socialite. People are going to look up to you. You're just going to have, you have that it factor about you. You could be a very mature individual, a socialite. You're going to be a very connected individual with lots of opportunities and lots of abundance. Okay. You putting an end into anything that is limiting your potential or that was holding you back. You put an end into anything that was limiting you. For my guys, you're going to be driving sporty cars. You got this youthful energy about yourself. You're going to have honest connections in your life. Spirit said you're going to have pure love, true love around you and your energy. Career, business, advancement, achievement, it's all out here. Children, having fun, either you want to have children or you have children or you got a childlike energy about yourself. Okay, what else, Spirit? So let's see, what message can we give my Sagittarius before we close out this reading? list of love write a list of all the people who deeply love you think of all the people who you de who deeply love you and feel the love so spirit wants you to write a list of all the people who deeply love you and think of all the people who deeply love you they want you to feel this love if you feel this love you embrace and attract more love you operate out of that. That's a high frequency, a high vibration. When you think about love and operate out of love. And you do things out of love. So think of all the people who truly love you for who you are. Your kids, whoever. Also, you have the energy of a new focus. If you are unhappy in your job, in your relationship, or with your body, find something about the situation that does make you happy. For example, I really like the filtered water at work, or it makes me happy that my partner takes out the trash, or it is great that my legs can carry me around town. When you focus on things like... Or when you focus on the things you like, you change your body's response. The situation might not be different, but your perspective will be, and you will feel better. Okay, you will feel better. And then, lastly, we have hot bath. Water is a vibration changer, it calms your nerves and grounds your energy. Soak in a hot bath, throw in some Epsom salt to release the toxins in your body. And if you don't have a tub or lack time, then imagine soaking in a tub. Your mind is powerful. That's a good way to end it. Your mind is powerful. So go soak, soak in a tub. Because water is a vibration change. Put that Epsom salt in there. Focus on something. Focus on the positive out of things. You know, everything has its positives and, and its negatives. We want you to focus on the positive. And concentrate on love. List all the people that love you. Or oh, hell, list all the things that you love and focus on that. So you can operate out of that vibration of love. And then don't forget, plant seeds. Plant the seeds of your desire. And nurture and nourish them. And then you're going to be tasting the fruits of your labor because it's going to pay you off. No good deed goes unknown, unseen, whatever. Because maybe people in this world may not see the good deeds that you do, but spirit does. And spirit does what? Spirit blesses those who do right. They can see it. They see it. Your ancestors are around you. The spirits are around you. Your spirit gods are around you. The angels are around you. All right, that's all I have at this time. If anything resonated, please leave me a message down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.